Hi friends, I was making um, a video for um, my junk memory, junk journals, and I started my pages here, and all this yummy stuff um, you're going to see a video on. And I was sitting here trying to edit, and I'm thinking, this is a too long of a video. It's over an hour. It's about an hour and some. And um, I want to not edit all this video I want you guys to see all this stuff sorry if I wasn't really expecting to make a video so I'm going to do it in parts but not really label them as parts and so I'm just starting off with this um junk journal memory thing and I'm starting off with the signature so I'm gonna do like basically a few videos of signature videos um like each signature might have a few videos I don't know so this is where I have this. Um, it's looking really good here. Um, pretty nice. This is like I, I did glue them, but all the dampness and all the drying did take some of the glue off. And I'm flipping through them, and they look pretty good. Doing a, a little quick flippy thing here in the beginning of this video. And I know that's not usual, but whatever. And I see some signatures through all the signatures. I never covered them. I have either paint that I can see through them. And then I'm going to put, you know, design it to what I think reminds me of these people too and whatnot. So I have quite the crazy painting going on over here. <clears throat> and um, it's looking good. So I think actually this is where I left. I'm going to leave off on the video. But there's going to be more um, really neat pages and I use a lot of gold you know me and gold and so throughout the video you're going to see like a lot of of changes in these um, cards and it looks like a kind of a mess but I think you know it's going to look good it's going to look good so just kind of quick little so anyways there's going to be a few parts so I hope you guys enjoy this this is going to be the beginning of this I'm not like I said labeling the parts but I just want to explain myself have a little explanation with before video or whatever so just flipping through a few of them here well I guess I'm gonna flip through them all but just to show you that it really did work out even though it looked kind of like a big mess hot mess and stuff so yeah there's a lot of paint on there but it was fun and I wouldn't change a thing so so far so good it's all good you can always you know do whatever with something and fix it up and like I said every person that I do know like I can make a page to suit that person what I thought about that person or whatever too so that's kind of cool and it'll be really good for my memory thing anyways just a little pro thing for the video to let you know what's going on so I think I'm just gonna make a playlist for this and this is my first time going through it all so I'm learning as I go too okay talk to you guys later bye bye hey friends I'm gonna start playing with my journal I took the elastics out or them off the elastics. I'm not sure I'm going to be using them because I know um, some friends have been saying that they'll dry rot or, you know, dry out and that kind of thing. But I don't know if that bothers me right now. I could probably still use them for a while. But anyways, I still got to decorate them so I'm separating them anyhow. And I guess I found a few more cards I could put together. But I still really haven't found all of my cards. So... That is um, one thing there. And so I still have some, a few letters, a few cards, that kind of thing. Let's see what this is. And so I'll just throw these ones together as well. But what I did with the other ones is I did glue them at the end of the last video. I decided that I did like them glued together. So it held the cards nice and didn't slide and that kind of thing. So I, I like that. So I'm going to show you. Oops, I banged my table. I'm going to show you guys. These ones are taped together. And then I did glue them. Like these ones you guys see that I glued. I pulled some of the card papers apart so I thought I could sketch on some of them. I did, they did kind of pull away a little paper, but when I paint over it, I think it's going to be fine. Or when I do whatever I want to do over it. So I like, I don't mind that. And I did start taping this one here, but I didn't like that. I didn't like 
that texture or whatever. I just didn't like the feel of it. So I just started gluing them. And like I said, they're it's just a better for me to work with. And some of them kind of unglued or whatever, maybe a bit. No, nope, actually didn't. It's just this part. But I mean, it's just holding in the center good enough. And when I have it bound as well, it'll that'll be holding it together. So that's it. I mean, it did pull away a little bit on the paper, but I don't, it doesn't bother me. So this one here, I glued, I somehow the glue went really far down. So I'm just folded, you know, down like this and just work with it that way. It doesn't matter. So that's how it's going to work. And I did that with all of the um, signatures. And like I said, there's a little bit of glue down there, but it's tacking and it's holding. And this was a couple days ago I glued them now, so it's pretty good. <clears throat> so if some of them don't stick, it doesn't really matter too much to me. It's just that I got the gist of it. They're not falling apart on me, that kind of a thing. And not sliding down my elastic or string or whatever I have that holds it together. So, so yeah, it worked. It held it together like this one here is kind of coming undone right here in the back but that's okay because I don't need to have them perfect I just need to have them somewhat stable so <clears throat> not sure what I'm going to do next guys I really am not sure but um, yeah decided just to go for it so let's see here I don't even know what I have on the table I have a couple of options um, we'll go for, see what I could do with some of these, um, Crayola, these are not, these are, yeah, I'll do, I'll play with these, why not, play with these today, the twistables, and see what I can come up with that, I might just throw some gesso on here, let's see if I can find some gesso, yep, I can, And yeah, I don't, it's the front of the cards are not a big deal for me, so don't worry about that. I'm, I'm keeping what's inside, the signatures of people, that kind of thing there, and that's what I want to keep. So, I'm just going to gesso over here a bit here. I don't think I'm going to even gesso all of it. I think I'm just going to get kind of covered the wording and whatever here. I think that'll do for now and then I'll just kind of heat dry that up and start decorating I don't know let's start my junk journal or whatever this is called memory junk journal so I dried it I think it's pretty dry I had to go on the second coat with it um, because I was seeing the words too much I'm putting some gold on here just throwing it down probably shouldn't throw it down first but I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't really have a plan, so I'm just going to do this. And yeah, it's coming through again a bit, the wording, but what can you do? It's not that big of a deal, I guess. Let's see here, if I got a brush here that was soaking, I'm moving the um, twistables. They move with your finger and they move with some water. And like I said, I still don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even have a plan. I'm just kind of going with this. I'm only going with the gold here because of the gold up here. I'm not sure. I think I'm keeping that because I kind of think it's kind of cool. I don't know. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of playing with it because, like that because of that, really. I'm going to wet my brush a bit more. Maybe drag some more of this gold through. Like I said, have no plan. I don't know how colorful. I'm just thinking I go page by page and just don't not really matter, like care what I decide I feel that time. I don't care if it matches or like goes through the whole book the same or, or anything like that. So I don't really have a plan like that. So this is what I got so far. It's kind of cool. It looks almost antique -y. Got an antique look just with the the uh, twistable slick sticks gold around there. 
on the gesso, so gesso card. It's gonna dry that up. So this is it dried. So this is the first signature that I have, like about 10 cards. And I'm wondering if I'm just gonna do like a, first of all, a cover up of everything that I wanna cover up and just not worry about even designing it. I might just do that. Um, I think I will. So I'm gonna play, this one's got some sheen on it. Let's see if I can even, what, let's see what happens here if I just add to it. It's not gonna really do anything, it kinda just stains it. Let's see, do I wanna paint over it? Don't know. Grabbing some paints over here, guys. I'm totally not even in the area of walking away. That's a bad. I get people saying, "You walked away. We should be prepared." I get people getting angry at me. <laughs> I do. I really do. Okay. I'm not thinking of gesso. It. I'm just gonna just throw some blue on here. Don't know. Do I want to use a card? Let's just let's see what a card will do. See, see, I'm telling you, like, some of them are going to come apart a bit. I kind of like that they're holding on, though, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. So I'm going to grab a piece of something, paper or something. Something, somebody's going to be angsty at me because I'm not prepared. Okay. I'm not prepared. So you guys, I'm throwing a do doily in there. Let's see if I, that will protect it enough or if I'm just totally being a whack nut. It might protect it enough. I'm not really keen. Like, I'm not too worried about how much it's going to protect it. I just, like, don't want to be slatter. So let's see. And then if I get color on here, I could really use it on the journal probably. So let's see. Just enough to whatever, kind of protect it maybe, in my mind, or not, whatever. I don't think it really matters too much, but, ah, that was smooth. Okay, so we're getting this page as well. See, this is why I was like, really liked it when it was glued. Either the heat untacked it. Because <clears throat> I thought I opened it and it was fine. Could have been just me with the heat tool. Too much heat. Whatever. Too much heat. Now I'm ending up doing this page too, which is okay. I'm going to throw some something I never even used, some neon pink. I always have a tendency to open them and then never take the seal off, open them from the screw thing, the lid, the screw thing. See, these are colors I never touch, so you guys are going to be like, ooh. Just being crazy. So I'm just covering this up. I thought I was gonna sketch on this page, but who knows? Who knows now? Okay, this one's kind of covered up. I'm gonna leave it. I think as soon as I get some color the way I want. Okay, I'm gonna dry it up, and then I'm just gonna leave this one as well. That's a different color. What are we gonna do in this page? I'm gonna use a little bit of that blue again because it's right here. Why not? And I'm going to use a little bit of this chocolate. I'm not trying to make mud, really. I'm not, guys. I love this gold and this chocolate and metallic. Oh, got plastic in my mouth. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm spreading it with the... I'm going to glue it and it's not going to stay because I keep playing. I'm spreading it with my card. Brain just went frozen. Now I'm grabbing some of that brown. 
Isn't that weird? Like, I would never mix these colors together, but I am today. These are just, like, something to put on there. We'll pretend it's, like, just fluke that it was like that. You know what I mean? Like, pretend it's drop, backdrop paper, and you just got to kind of deal with it. I'm throwing paint on. This is white. Right, right. Why? And I'm trying to cover some of those words. It may give it a little bit of a marble look too, right? A nice messy look. So yeah, I'm just playing with it and having fun right now, guys. If you think this is too crazy, I don't know. You can stop the video, but if you're gonna curious, keep going because I'm curious too. So <laughs> we'll go with it. Let's go with it. Let's let's push it down on this heart stuff here that I have. Let's see what happens to the other facade. Cool. Can you see that, or is it too bright because I broke my other mirror image of my heart impressions there? That's cool. Cool. I'm using some of the, the paint that's on here to get it up here. Okay. There we go. We want some of that to want this got to show. That's the goal I want to show. So I'm going to dry this up and move on. I'm covering them up. I'm not thinking. I'm just having fun. I covered up this page. It looks pretty good. See, now this is what I'm going for, guys. I'm going for fun. Childlike play here. I'm not even caring. Um, so don't get angry at me. It's just fun. I'm just spreading it on. And now I'm going to spread a little bit on this frame because I know this one's opaque or um, transparent, more transparent. So I'm not worried because I just tested on the other stuff and I can see it still. So I can see who I got from. I like that. So I'm going to do that on this page a little bit here. And also don't freak out. That way the page is not totally... Yeah, maybe that's a lot of white on here. This page is not totally um, beige and boring for me. I'll fix that up. Okay. I do love these people. So I don't want to lose that. There we go. Don't want to lose. I like that. Look at that. Oh, that looks so pretty. So yeah, kind of wanted to blend it and I think that worked really well. So I'm going to drop on my card. I actually just got some on the lid there, so I'm just going to do that. But yeah, I didn't want to cover the name. But I didn't want to leave it. There we go. So that's the next one. It's very nice. I think it blends. It dried up. I can still see the writing there. I'll just leave that and then do something little in here after and then yeah, it'll look nice together. The next page. Okay, I'm going to just quickly show you. I darkened it up a little bit as I was drying. I'm like, I want it darker. But you can see still the name and everything, and I really like that. And I don't know. Of course, I'm not planning what I'm doing on this page, but I really like it. Okay, right. next I'm throwing on paint. Crazily. See, I'm not planning, guys. I'm just like, switch. 
Now this is really bright. And I know doilies to protect the background is really a joke, but I'm just, even if I get a little bit like here, it happened where I got a little bit of, I think that actually is cool. So don't mind, it's actually cool. I'm gonna throw a little red on here or uh, somewhat red. I think it's like an antique red. It's not a, it's not a pretty, pretty bright red, but it's a, but almost a terracotta almost. I'm using a lot of paint, I know. But this is just fun child play here. This is just so fun and just, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm just covering, covering my journal page. Let's throw a little heat on there. Now let's see, maybe a drop, a drop, a couple drops of white, just because I can. Just give it that, I don't know, something look. There, that's pretty nice. Drying it up. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth like this, guys. I hope not driving too crazy. Going crazy. Green. So this is an avocado, if I'm correct. Yes, I'm correct. Avocado green. I have colors here, and I grabbed a little basket of a few colors, more naturals, and then all of a sudden I have a few quite um, uh, neons. I have just used the pink so far on the neon earlier there. But, um, yeah, I thought this was kind of neat. So I'm throwing colors together that you probably sh didn't do. So just to play and see how they work and how they look. That kind of a thing. Some colors that you just think you never really put together. That's what I'm playing with right now. That's the game for me. I like that. Now it's avocado and Indian turquoise. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. I'm going to pull some of that turquoise back. I like the avocado. <laughs> yeah, back and forth. Oh, a little bit more avocado in there. There we go. I like that. I'm going to dry that up. Now this is this page, and I'm really liking it. And I envision some gold on here. So what I'm going to try is because now, like, now I'm putting my brain on a little bit to see, like, if I see something I want to add, I'm going to add. I'm going to use the um, Crayola Twist Sticks and add some gold on this page. And then move it around with a little bit of water but hey I'm not planning but if I see something and I'm like my brain says do this I'm gonna do it so that's my plan and this is like this so reminds me of like you know the um, Shannon Green's journaling by five you just told totally him adding paint I'm not timing it and you know it's not like race but this is all I'm doing is adding paint and not really thinking and that's how I have decided to do it. It's a fun free. I'm keeping all the signatures and playing around that, but fun free journal to just enjoy what my brain is throwing out. And this is for me. So this is just, I like the gold on there. I might like to have a little bit more gold. We'll see. It might be, I'm going to go over like this and just pat on some of the teal parts. The gold's kind of tinging them up. We'll see how that works. 